Hello there, my name is Garrett of Outer Ground Studios, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a, I guess you'd, I guess you'd call a product showing. So the product I'm showing today, or actually, let me, let me start with this. Uh, for many animators, or at least many animators who are starting and have a lot of ambition to them, they want to... They want to try something new to them. With a lot, with a lot of animators nowadays, they either they either do animation 3D or they use flash animation by using a mouse and keyboard. Or a lot, some animator, a lot of animators nowadays, you know, use a uh, Wacom like this to and use a program such as TV Paint, pencil, animation paper, stuff like that. That. Uh, that they use for their animating for 2D, but a lot of animators now, a lot of animators, what they, what sometimes they want to do is they want to know is how do I animate on paper? Now you know an easy fix for this would be use something like sticky notes or um, uh, like thin, uh, thin, like uh, thin like uh, tracing paper. I'm sorry, couldn't think of the name. Thin tracing paper. Now, those are pretty good solutions. But what if you want the actual animation feel, like when you, if you looked up at a picture of Walt Disney animating or something like that? Well, a, a pretty decent fix. Now, traditional animation desks are next to impossible to come by nowadays, and if you do find them, they're gonna cost you an arm and a leg, your liver and your lung. <laughs> so, in a kind of an easy fix that I found is this. This is a Huion uh, light pad or tracer pad. I got this off eBay for about 50 bucks. N now this is an easy fix because it's just something nice, light, and easy that you can use for what you're looking for in 2D animation. Uh, I couldn't find this. I'm gonna leave description or links in the description to where you can buy all these by the way. All this stuff I'm gonna show today. But, uh, I couldn't find this light pad in particular, but I found a bunch like it for around the same price, 40, 50, 40 to 50 dollars, if you're willing to spend the money. There, there are cheaper methods, but I personally feel this is the cheapest method possible. Okay, so along with, uh, you know, your, your light pad here, you need to buy yourself a peg bar. Now, a a peg bar is essentially, for those that don't know, the peg bar is what holds this the paper in place as you animate it. Now this isn't a lesson, it just, you know, like it holds it in place. Now what old animators used, to, what traditional animators used to use and still use are um, uh, what's known as an acme hole punch. That's uh, for those of you that watch Looney Tunes when you were younger. That's where the name of that show Acme came from, because that's the company that created most of most animation products at, at back in the day. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I probably am. But so these, this is an Acme peg bar, and this is Acme punched paper. Now, you know, I know, I know what probably some of you are thinking. Where can I get Acme punched paper? Well, they have punches for them, but they are super, super rare. They, they are so rare nowadays, and like I said, with traditional animation desks, if you wanted your own Acme Punch, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg and your lung and maybe your liver. But uh, I was lucky enough, I'm lucky enough to have my mentor, Holly Thorsted. Uh, she, she used to go to a college nearby my house called the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. And, or MCAD for short, and they have an Acme Punch because they have a very thorough animation program. So I'm lucky enough to uh, get my paper from her. But if you want a peg bar and animation paper without having to punch it yourself, if uh, in the description I'll leave another link for this. But a Blick, uh, uh, Blick's Arts and Crafts. They don't sell them in their stores, or at least not in the stores by my house. But they sell peg bars and. Uh, Acme punched paper on online. The a peg bar, at least a plastic one, will run you about five six bucks, and uh, probably a package of a hundred sheets of Acme punched paper will uh, run you ten maybe twenty bucks. 
whereas stacks to 500, maybe 20, 30, so, somewhere around there. So, somewhere around that price area. I could be dead wrong. So, you know, there there is a lot of advantages to uh, animating on paper. You know, you don't get the technical shutdowns. You know, you there's a lot of advantages and disadvantages. So, yeah. I'm sorry, this I'm confused by this. But, so, you know, you just kind of turn it on. That is bright. Oy. You know? And it's just like just like how they animated back in back in the day like with the original looney tunes and everything like i said it's if you if you want the traditional feel of now i mean you could make your own light desk a uh, light light desk i guess or animation desk i'm sorry i forgot the name you could make your own animation desk out of wood and get your own light and your own little turntable and everything but you know, if you want to, if you want a cheap way to start animating on paper, this would be the way to do it. At least in my opinion, I think all round, if you wanted to, you know, just have a little starter kit with your with your light pad, paper, and a peg bar, it might run you about sixty, seventy dollars at the most. Whereas other methods, methods will cost you like hundreds or so of dollars. Uh, I will also leave a link into the, in the description for another website that I found that is uh, called animationsupplies.com, I believe it's called. I, I don't remember. Where they have uh, traditional light, light desks like this with the little turntable and it, the light and everything. And they have all traditional supplies that you could use. But, I'm j but stuff on there is very expensive. So I'm just showing you this right now just to show uh, for people who want to have a start in animation on paper but not really you know don't really know where to go with it um, so this is a little animation I'm working on on paper right now it's of a strong man and a little girl I don't really know where I'm gonna go with it uh, I have I have uh, something right here Oh, but another thing I got to say is if you are strapped for space and you want to do 2D animation, I'm just going to say if you're strapped for space, you might want to keep doing it on the computer because, yes, this is nice, but if you're finishing projects or even hopping between projects, um, this paper will start to take up a lot of space, especially if you want to keep your frames. But other than that, that's all I really have to show you guys today. Uh, if you guys want... A tutorial on animating on paper I, it, it'd be the same thing like I did in my TV paint so there wouldn't be that much difference uh, and if you would like to join the channel and submit your own uh, videos of your own as well that I that'd be like <laughs> I I wouldn't mind just uh, send me a send me a message and we'll start talking things out because I want this studio I want this uh, studio to be open to anyone who wants to post post stuff you know but limiting it to kind of arts and animations because that that's a problem I've seen is people in YouTube and now I'm going on a rant about this but I'm gonna I'm gonna go anyways uh, people on YouTube in the art or animation side of things nowadays they're they're not getting as much recognition as a lot of them should and that's mainly for the way that YouTube is set up. And I feel that the way we can do that is by making a channel, banding together artists, animators, music creators, or whatnot, and, you know, trying to get recognition for all of these people. So if you want to, you know, join up for Outer Ground Studios, just leave a comment. Uh, and like I said, I'll leave the purchase description, or purchase uh, the, <coughs> the sites where you can purchase all these things in the description below peg bar light pad huion i believe is what i got uh, and acme punched paper oh and one thing before i go uh they also have them uh, round variations of the these so it's like it'll be they'll be round peg bars for like other so for like normal hole punches uh, and those will run you for a lot cheaper. So if you want to try that, go right ahead. It all depends on the animator. But 
anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscri subscribe uh, if, you, if you wish. And if you wish to join Outer Ground Studios, please leave a comment and uh, uh, contact me about that. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.